I don't really make my videos for audio files, but I'm sure a few of you watching consider yourself one, and I'm sure you have a range of opinions on me, and that's okay. I'm trying to connect with everyone who's curious about how speaker systems work and how they can maybe build their own. I think that's why some of my budget videos are more popular. It allows someone just starting out to try their hand at speaker building without having to plop down a few hundred bucks. And the best part is just because it's budget doesn't mean it has to sound budget. And who knows, maybe some of you audiophiles want to build a budget system as well uh, for your garage or bathroom or I don't know, under the bed. Hey everyone, I'm Kirby, this is Kirby Meets Audio, and today we're taking a look at the Dayton Audio TD20F Tweeter. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I'm a fan of Dayton Audio's value for DIY builders, and this tweeter is a great example of that. It's two and a half inch overall diameter faceplate puts it in the medium size range. It's not quite as small as one of my favorite budget tweeters, the ND16FA, but not quite as big as a full size. This makes it a great choice for a desktop two-way or a boombox build. There are two types of dome tweeters you'll come across in the wild, soft dome and hard dome. Soft dome tweeters are usually made from silk, while you'll mostly find titanium used in hard dome. This tweeter utilizes a three-quarter inch silk dome to reproduce sound, driven by a ferrofluid cooled neodymium magnet, which is how they can make this guy so small. This tweeter costs just under eight bucks a pop, and at that price, I have no problem recommending it for your budget two-way build. If you pair it with the TCP-115 woofer I talked about last week, you can get your stereo drivers for under 40 bucks. That's a killer deal if you're just starting out in speaker building and aren't looking to invest very much. That being said, this is a great tweeter with budget in mind. The three quarter inch dome is pretty small and you're not gonna get the same stereo imaging you'd get with something a little bigger. The power handling is also limited at 20 watts RMS. That's totally fine if these will be just a few feet away from your face sitting on your desk, but they might struggle a little bit if you try to push them to fill a large room. If you're on a budget and you want to keep your component costs under 50 bucks, you could probably do that with this tweeter. But if you're looking to build speakers to fill a room or sound quality is a little higher on your list of goals, I would probably go with something of a little higher quality. Remember, speaker building is about trade-offs and that's why we make a goals and constraints list before any build. So if budget is number one on your list, these are a fine tweeter for you. But think about it for a second. In order for it to hit 20,000 hertz, the highest a human ear can hear, the magnet needs to move that dome back and forth 20,000 times a second. That's a, that's a lot of movement. I've read in the past that the material of the dome impacts the sound of the tweeter, which it does, but maybe not in the same way that I originally thought. I was under the impression that a hard dome tweeter made from titanium can be shrill or screechy, and a soft dome tweeter, like the name implies, has a softer, more rounded sound. But while doing research on this tweeter, I came across an article that argued against this, and even stated that the opposite was true, that soft domes can actually warp and that can cause a shrill output. I've always considered myself a fan of soft dome tweeters, but I've never actually put that to the test using an A-B comparison using a similar tweeter design. But of course now I have my doubts, so I'm gonna be testing that really soon, so be sure to hit that bell down there by the subscription button uh, so you can be notified when that video comes out. If you wanna find out more information about DIY speaker design, click right up there. I've included links to all the products we've talked about today in the description down below. Anyway, all that aside, let's put her on a baffle and see what she sounds like. Little small little guy.
All right, I'm gonna be testing this driver using the Omni mic. Uh, that's that silver thing right in front of the tweeter right there. And Omni mic software it makes it super easy to do all this measurement stuff. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description if you wanna find out more information. So I'm actually working on a build uh, using this tweeter. And this is actually the front baffle I'm using for that build. Um, it's a real thin front baffle, uh, but I don't think that's gonna affect the measurements too much at this close range. Um, but yeah, so let's test this guy. All right, so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna play the test track. So this test track actually takes out the uh, bass from the audio signal. Um, so it's just gonna play the mids and the highs in a sine wave form. All right, and as you can see, here's our result. We're getting down to, I mean, other than this hump, about one and a half thousand hertz, um, but you're not gonna really be able to use this big bump right here. So we're really at about 3000. Probably wanna start cutting 3000, maybe 2500 hertz. Yeah, look at this graph. This looks really nice. Um, I'm actually really surprised. <laughs> so we've got 107, about five, five dB. So that's like two dB difference. That's, uh, that's really flat. That's pretty dang good. Um, at this close distance. All right, so now I'm gonna move it back just a little bit and uh, we'll get another uh, reading. Um, it's really windy out. I don't think that's gonna affect this too much, but I'll try to catch it in a not as gusty moment. All right, let's do this. All right, so we're about a six inches away now. Uh, we're gonna run another test and see what she sounds like. All right, and that still looks pretty good. Uh, we're, we're starting to see this bump creep in a little bit. So now we're about 4,000 hertz when it starts to, when it starts to rise in dB level, um, but you're still probably pretty good. Yeah, you're still pretty good at about 3,500 hertz. This is still pretty flat. We got, you, so as you can see, there's, we're starting to get a little bit of waviness, getting some, and up here, I don't really like this bump. Um, but it's still not too bad. 92 dB in our flats around 89. Yeah, that's 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 not too bad. But you, as you can see, further away we get, uh, the less pure the sound is. Um, but that's just how speakers work. All right, so we're gonna move it back now about a meter, about three feet, um, and see see what it looks like there. All right, so now we're back about three feet. Uh, let's run the test again and see what she looks like. All right. So we can see this, this hump is starting to creep in more and more. So now we're about 5,000. That's interesting. I like that. Interesting. But as you can see, we're still pretty flat along here. I mean, it's getting a little more choppy, but not too bad. Yeah, our crossover frequency is getting higher and higher but still about 35 when we hit the peaks of here. 35,000 hertz. 35,000, 3,500 hertz. <laughs> I mean, this, this tweeter is pretty flat. For, for its price, for a budget tweeter, I like this guy. It looks good, it sounds good. I can't wait to get it in a system and hear what it sounds like with some woofers. If you're interested in building a pair of speakers of your own, Head over to kmakits.com where you can find free build plans and complete build kits available for purchase. If you liked that video, hit that thumbs up. If you hated it, hit the thumbs down. Just make your feelings known. If you're new here and you wanna see more videos, hit that subscribe button and then hit that little bell if you want updates on when I post videos. I also have a Patreon where fans like you help me make videos like this one. And if you wanna see behind the scenes of making these videos or speaker buildings or just my life in general, Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Just search Kirby Meets Audio and there's links down below. All right, thanks for watching. It's my second uh, review product talking video. It's fun, I like making these. Uh, you guys seem to like them. The last one did really well, so <laughs> that's awesome. Um, thank you for your feedback. I hope I'm uh, implementing some of it. Let's do this. See you next week.